guys, I haven't done an update in a while. I have a bunch of shrink plastic pieces that I want to show you guys. Ta-da! So lately, I mean, you can obviously tell I've been into shrink plastic. And if you don't know shrink plastic, it's a thin sheet of plastic that you can draw on. And then if you put it in like the toaster oven or oven, it melts and shrinks. So it looks like this, little pieces of plastic. And obviously I've been <laughs> into making these little diamonds. These were made quite a while ago actually when I first started getting into shrink plastic. But yeah, I was learning how to color it and stuff. So it's pretty basic stuff. But you can see the process that I went through. Next, I tried some more intricate gems, and what I did with these was I printed off a template from the internet, and I just traced them, so this design isn't mine, it's from, uh, actually a paper craft site, I believe, I can link it down below, you guys can check it out. It's a non-profit use site, so you can't sell the charms or anything, but it was perfect for practicing. It's really windy outside, I'm sorry if you can hear the shutters rattling, I can't do anything about that, unfortunately, but next. I have these winged hearts and these are layered shrink plastic pieces and I'm sure you can see the glare and that's because I domed these with UV resin and oops I dropped one. I like the design very very much. I just found that they're a bit fragile so I'm going to need to work on the design a little bit more to make them more durable. Next I have these little charms. This is the only one domed. That is my manager's cockatiel cookie and she actually drew this sketch for me and I just traced it. And then this is another trace. It's humming mint, and this one's not domed, obviously. And I don't know if you can tell, but doming it makes it look much, much nicer. And then finally here is Frosh from the anime Fairy Tale, and I've been watching it lately, and I am just absolutely in love with Frosh. So I have those. Next, I have these hearts, and these are just colored with chalk pastels, and then layered with UV resin and some glitter. So very simple, but I was experimenting coloring the pieces with chalk pastels, and... I've kind of gotten the hang of it. I have some more gems. Gems are really fun and pretty easy to make. Again, this was a trace from a stock image site. Um, I can't remember which site, but I'm sure I can find it, so I'll try to link it below if I can. If not, you can just search like public domain um, gem templates or outlines or um, stock images like that, so it's really easy to find. So I have those, and then these I colored with chalk pastels. I'm really sorry about the glare. But as you can see, they are actually really pretty and colorful, and I love them a lot. Again, these are domed with UV resin and have glitter. Next, I have these diamonds, and they're actually a little bit bigger. These are colored with nail polish. I actually had three, but one, the nail polish just peeled off. So I either need to secure it better with UV resin or maybe sand the surface a little bit more. I still need to work on that, but I'm not sure if I really like nail polish on shrink plastic, so I'm going to experiment a bit more, but here are the two pieces that survived. I have two random rainbow leaves here. These were just chalk pastel experiments. Next, I have these snowflakes, and I absolutely love these. I love how the colors turned out, I love the shapes, and it looks perfect with the resin and glitter. So there are those. Here are two Chanrios that I made. One's supposed to be Poly Momo tea and the other's supposed to be Pink Sugar Cotton, but I mean, it was just a practice drawing and I think they turned out okay. Next, I have these stamped images and I have a video on how to stamp on shrink plastic. It's really, really easy. And then I colored these with chalk pastels first and then domed it with UV resin and glitter. I love, love, love the effect. If I turn it over, you can see the color a little bit more. It looks really gorgeous, actually. And yeah, so I really love those pieces. Finally, I have these two, and it is Stitch and Angel. I traced these from a design that was in my Disney Shrink Plastic book. I got it on Amazon or at a local bookstore, I think. I've had it for a long, long time, so thought it was about time I started using it. I colored these guys with colored pencils and then domed it with UV resin and glitter. I'm really liking doming with glitter. I don't know if Stitch and Angel really needed the glitter, but, you know, it gives it a nice sparkly effect. So... Those are my latest ones, and as you can see, I am obsessed. So here's an update of my most recent shrink plastic creations, and I'm hoping to do a tutorial very, very soon. The main tools I use are shrink plastic, of course, sandpaper, chalk pastels, colored pencils, and then uh, Posca. I think it's a chalk marker, but you can use any type of oil-based marker and then you bake it and then I dome it but it's very very simple but I hope to do a more detailed tutorial in the future but for now that was my update I hope you guys enjoyed what I made and I've been trying to post more craft photos on my Instagram so if you're interested please check it out I'll leave the link down below and I will see you guys next time bye